Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at another new Dogfish Head beer. This one is their Noble Rot, which is a 9% alcohol by volume Saison ale or farmhouse style ale that they do something really special with. They got together with the, uh, I want to get right here, Alexandria Nicole Cellars, which is a vineyard. Um, and they got a bunch of their grape must. Not just any grape must though, it's Botrytis infected grape must. Um, basically what Botrytis is, it's a fungal infection that grapes get. And if, it's, and if the grapes are harvested while infected at the appropriate time, the grapes actually yield a sweeter juice. So it's actually a desired thing um, for, for uh, wineries to infect some of their grapes, to get sweeter dessert wines. And that's what they did with this. They brewed with a bunch of must um, in the actual beer itself, and then they aged it on a bunch of the Botrytis infected uh, must. So it's gonna give a big, sweet kind of white wine character to it. Looking forward to it. I love a Saison, I love a really good Saison, and to hear that they use grape juice, uh, actual wine grape juice in it. it, sounds really interesting to me. So without further ado, let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Dogfish Head Noble Rot. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Noble Rot, it is a crystal, crystal clear, uh, golden yellow, hay yellow, a really light yellow. There was a big two to three fingers, white fluffy head on there that dissipated really quickly at 9%. I would expect that beautiful carbonation streaming off the bottom of the glass. I gotta tell you, it looks like a white wine. It's just an absolutely clear, clean looking beer. All right, the aroma on the Noble Rot. Wow, big earthy grape uh, mustiness coming through. A little bit of spice from the Saison yeast. Definitely getting a Belgian yeast character in here. Big breadiness. Nice sweet citrus notes. Nice sweet fruity notes from the grape, like a fresh squeezed grape or a, a grape skin. Yeah, it's a really nice kind of combination of a really bready Saison with a glass of white wine. It's, a, again, a really interesting smell. All right, guys, so the taste on the Noble Rot. Cheers. Wow, that's really nice. Right from the tongue, there's a nice white wine, just pop that really helps to open up the taste buds. A nice kind of citrus sourness in there, a nice grape skin, a nice kind of sweetness from the grape juice as well. Middle of the mouth, you're getting the bready characteristic, the kind of the peppery, earthy, musty characteristic uh, from the Saison yeast, from the Saison, um, elements in this as well as kind of the infected grapes in there. I'm getting a nice kind of apple uh, skin taste as well. The, th the finish on this thing is just awesome. It's really indicative of both styles. You know, you have this white wine dry finish and you have the Saison dry finish and they really just dry this thing out. Aftertaste, I'm getting uh, more of the sweet kind of grape juice coming through, blending with the biscuit characters, blending with the spiciness. The carbonation, this thing is like champagne. It really helps to move the flavors along and keep it moving. It's an easy to drink beer at 9%. You don't taste it at all. You feel it a little bit, but man, this thing goes down almost too easy. It's actually a really cool combination of the wine world and the craft beer world. I'm really surprised. It's an easy to drink, well-crafted beer, nice stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Noble Rot from Dogfish Head, 9% alcohol by volume. Then the new Dogfish Head bottle, too, which I haven't seen yet. They have their logo embossed on the glass now. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Um, I think, you know, I was kind of put back by the fact that they're kind of trying different things with wine and all that stuff. But not being a big wine guy, I didn't know what to expect. But I'm getting a lot of white wine characteristics. I'm getting a lot of Saison characteristics out of this one. And they're both really solid and they both play off each other really, really nicely. And while I wouldn't say this is an extreme beer, it's nice to kind of see Dogfish Head dialed a little back a little bit on this one because I think they could have gone too crazy one way or another. I think the blend on this thing is perfect. It's a perfectly balanced kind of different take on a beer. And really, I don't know that I've had anything like it. It's awesome. Definitely check it out. You know, try some, get to get some of your wine people into this. Um, I think this is really cool stuff. So definitely check it out. Worth the price. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.